Hello! I've already done predictions for the Champions League and the Europa League, which means I gotta go straight into the Conference League. Just like in the Europa League, we gotta watch a round where the second place team in every Conference League group has to play a third place team from every Europa League group. And even though there are some clubs here that look like favorites in these matchups, still anything can happen in every single one. So I'm not too sure how well I'll do on this, but appreciate you guys tuning in anyway. Like this video if you enjoyed, and as always, let me know your predictions in the comments below. Congratulations to all the teams that already qualified for the next round that got first place in their conference league groups because this round's definitely about to be intense let's start off with the first match psv versus tel aviv now psv is a side that many people thought would top their europa league group they're actually in a pretty tricky one i did make a bold prediction that they'd finish third and i was right and now they're coming up against tel aviv who didn't do terribly in the conference league obviously finishing second despite psv slips in the europa league they still put off very good fights overall and I think they can win this matchup against Tel Aviv. In the first leg, I'm going to say PSV win 2-0, and the second one, they win 1-0. Might be underestimating Tel Aviv massively, but I feel like PSV are going to come out strong in this knockout round. Obviously, I won't be upset if Tel Aviv proved me wrong, but that's just my prediction. Now moving on to the next matchup, a flip of a coin one, Fernabache versus Slavia Praha. Fernabache not looking too hot in the Super League. Slavia Praha doing all right for themselves in the Czech League. And Fernabache also could be potentially missing Mesut Ozil for this matchup. I could be totally wrong on this, so sorry if I am, but he does have an injury going on right now. Maybe he'll be able to return for the second leg. Maybe he'll even come for the first. Both of these sides have obviously had moments where they slipped. To be honest, I expected both of them to do a bit better. I'm going to say the first match finishes in a 1-1 draw. It's all down to that second leg where Slavia Praha will grab a 1-0 win. A bold prediction as even though Fernabache haven't been looking at their best and with the possible Ozil injury, they're still a very solid side. But we've seen what Slavia Praha are capable of in the Europa League in the past. Even though they transferred out some of their best players, still a very, very solid side. And I definitely think they're capable of staying in the Conference League. Next matchup, Rapid Wien versus Vitesse. This one's very interesting, as honestly, I was pretty impressed with Rapid Wien. I heavily watched this group, obviously, because I wanted to see how Dinamo Zagreb would progress, and Rapid Wien definitely didn't make it easy for any of the sides in the group. Vitesse, on the other hand, got very decent results against some pretty big teams. They beat Tottenham once in October 1-0, and then they lost to them in the next matchup, but it finished 3-2. Still an exciting thriller, and definitely proved their worth. And then they drew with Rene 3-3. Definitely a match that can go either way for sure, and I'm definitely afraid to lock this one in. But to be honest, Vitesse were in a very tough group and they made it out. Yes, Tottenham had to forfeit their last match against Rene, but still, props to this side for putting off impressive displays. I'm going to say Vitesse come out alive in this. This one will be very high scoring. In the first leg, we'll see a 2-2 draw, and in the second one, we'll see Vitesse win 2-1. Won't be surprised if I'm wrong, and good luck to Rapid Wien. Next up, Midiland versus Pauk. Now, Pauk finished second in their group, obviously. Four points behind Copenhagen, who absolutely bossed the group. Only one loss. While Midiland did get in third... Only one point behind Braga and two points behind the group leaders Cervena Zvezda. Unlike the other matchup that I said would be high scoring, I think this one will be low. I'm going to say in the first leg it finishes in a nil-nil draw. And in the second one we see a tiny upset where Pauk come out on top with a 1-0 win. This is probably considered an upset as Midtjylland are absolutely killing it in the Danish league. But I'm just going with some gut feeling here that Pauk can come out on top. I really wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong as Midtjylland were in a pretty well-balanced group and they did almost stay in the Europa League. So it's a massive gamble I'm going for here, but I'll say Pauk come out on top barely. Now for Leicester City versus Randers. Leicester City have not been living up to the hype this year. They're at 12th right now in the Premier League and Randers were not that impressive in the Conference League run. They did finish second, obviously, but the point gap between them and Alkmaar was massive with seven points. Yablonets was right behind them with six. They got one win, four draws, and one loss. So obviously we could see a potential upset as Leicester have not been that impressive in European football. As obviously they were in a tough group in the Europa League with Napoli. And although the point gap was super close, they did have some questionable matches, such as a loss to Legia Warsaw, but then some thrillers like beating Spartak Moscow 4-3 the group leaders. Despite Leicester's flaws this season, I think they can get away in this fixture. I'll say in the first leg, Leicester grab a 3-1 win, and then the second leg, it finishes 1-1, but they'll still be celebrating at the end, staying in European football, but I'll definitely question how much further they can go after that. Now for Marseille versus Quadabag. Despite Marseille's third place finish in their Europa League group, they haven't been too bad this year. They are currently in second in Ligue 1. Quadabag in their Europa League group, even though they finished second, they were still very, very impressive. 
just one loss to the group leaders Basel. The Swiss side had 14 points while Korabag had 11. But to be brutally honest, I thought these two sides were the clear favorites in this group, so I would have been shocked if they didn't at least get second. No offense to Ammonio and Kairat. I'm gonna go for a bit of an interesting prediction. Could obviously be wrong, but I'm going to say in the first leg, Marseille draw with Quarterback 1-1 in France. But then in the second fixture, when they're away, they will grab a 2-1 win. So they'll cut it close, but they'll make it to the next round. And obviously, if this comes true, Quarterback will be very disappointed as they've been doing very well so far. But Marseille are just a stronger side on paper, obviously. Good luck to Quarterback and prove me wrong, but I think Marseille got it. Next up, Sparta Praha versus Partizan. Now, you all know I'm definitely rooting for Partizan in this matchup, but Sparta Praha, besides getting smashed to Lyon in the second matchup, 3-0, they were doing all right in the Europa League. Even then, they were one point behind Rangers in the Europa League group. At the time of recording this, they just grabbed a 2-0 win against Slavia Praha. Partizan on points are pretty far from Ghent. I'm definitely hoping I'm wrong on this, but I think it's going to be cut very, very close. First matchup, we'll see Sparta Praha only grab a 1-0 win at home. And then when they got to go to Serbia, Partizan will have high hopes, but it will only finish 0-0. Sparta Praha going through the next round. It will obviously be heartbreaking. I feel like they'll put up a very good fight, but I personally think Sparta Praha will go through. So yeah, I have both of the Czech Republic teams making it to the next round. Now the final matchup we're looking at, Celtic versus Bodo slash Glimt. Now Celtic are looking like they're massively improving throughout the year. They sit at first now in the Scottish League, and they also just beat Rangers. 3-0. The hopes and dreams are looking absolutely high for this club. And although Bodo slash Glimt have had very impressive results in the Conference League, I'll never forget their win against Roma 6-1, obviously. This side also just won the Norwegian League. I think Celtic's momentum will just continue on going and they'll grab a win against the Norwegian side. I don't think it's going to be easy and I think it'll be high scoring as well. I'll say the first match finishes 3-2 and then when they have to go to Norway, it will finish 2-2. So I got a lot of these matchups cut off really, really close, but I definitely think it's going to be a very exciting playoff round. Maybe even more upsets than the Europa League. Who knows? But yeah, like I said, guys, let me know your predictions down below as always. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you all for making it to the end, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care. Lock and watch.